Aisha Wan has been arrested today. She is being prosecuted. And she'll be prosecuted in Ghanaian law, under Ghanaian law, in Ghanaian court. If she's found guilty, which I believe she showed and will, will be found, I believe so. You're hoping. I hope so. And mm. I think I'm not making prejudicial comment, but I'm saying that given the facts that I have, I am expecting that Aisha Wan will be found guilty, convicted, and sentenced, and thrown into Ghanaian jail. That has become possible because of the substantive legislative and policy interventions that the government of President Akufuado is putting in place. If we did not, the, a judge would have had a discretion to find her, for example. It's good. And, and there's nothing that the government could have done. Mm. Working with Parliament, we brought Act 995, which is ousted a, the discretion from a, court, a judge. judge sitting mm -hmm. in court to, 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 to met out a fine to a foreigner who is found to be involved in illegal smuggling. I would think, Omar Sander, with the greatest self-respect, that, that should, that's where our focus should be. So That's where our focus should be. How we uproot the, the canker and the menace or the situation of foreigners being involved in criminal enterprises and cartels in the various sectors of our national, whether in the mining sector, in the fishery sector, in the petroleum sector, in the security of our state, in terrorism, and so on and so forth. That is where our focus should be. But I'm not going to begrudge those who find Aisha one as a very single item sensation. I'm I actually